What's up guys, Black Wolves everyone, welcome back to another video, and today we're back on Pro Cycling Manager 2018 for the 7th and final stage of Tirreno Adriatico at some trouble between San Benedetto del Tronto and San Benedetto del Tronto. Uh, I think you'll, opt you'll have to just like the video for my Italian accents. Um, but today's favorites are Rohan Dennis, Tom Dumoulin, Garin Thomas, Primo Roglic and Victor Campenart. So we have a chance to win actually, we, we could maybe do something good in this tour, uh, which if you haven't seen the previous stages, go ahead and do so, so that you will understand what's going on GC-wise, but in the meantime, let's just jump into the race and see what we can do. Right, and we're on the way for this time trial, I have no idea what pace to use. Uh, the current leader is just Van Emden for Team Jumbo Visma. Uh, it was Miles Scott's on for quite a while, but it's been he's been overtaken by three riders, uh, Van Emden, Buchwalter, and yesterday's winners, Mads Verschmitz. So yeah, as I said, I don't know what to do um, pace-wise, especially with someone like Ukele, who's, I mean, not going to be very useful for my uh, for my time trial. I don't really need him. Um, let's see, time trial. First intermediate, 26 seconds behind after only 4 kilometers. Solid. Solid work here. Um, we're going to go back through the fans as uh, when our crossing an Astana rider and a Trek or Sunweb actually and uh, an FDJ okay I think 77 might have been a bit too high for him uh, but it looks like it could be the good shout for someone that's gonna start in four places being Victor Campenarts our main favorite uh, well the favorite in our, sta in our team for today's stage Kukula has been, um, well he's a minute down, just a minute, so yeah he's lost half a minute on the first half, half a minute on the second, and I guess that's um, not bad I suppose, I don't know, Victor Campenarts, the Belgian champion, ready to roll to try and get a win for Lotus Sudal in this Tirreno de Artico, we got three second places I think, or oh, two second places I can't remember, um, but it's time to get finally a win, and he's going to be our main man to do so today. Victor Campenarts, 7 kilometers, uh, well, 8 kilometers left for uh, the current Belgian champion and I think European champion, if I'm correct. Uh, let's see, he seems to be good with 77 right now. He's going to cross the first intermediate time. We're going to see where it puts him. Is it going to be first? It, it's not. It's third, 4 seconds behind Jos van Emden. Uh, in the same time as the Belgian road champion Yves Lampart. Uh, where's Lampart? He's gonna cross the line soon. Let's see where the, the rider from the Kunak finishes. Uh, he's gonna take he's gonna take third place eleven seconds behind. Okay, Victor Campenarts, you're gonna go to eighty now. As we reach uh, the uh, two kilometer mark. Eighty eighty two actually. Yeah let's let's see eighty two. Go back to eighty We've used uh, a bit of yellow, we're now a bit under. Campenarts making his last turn using all he has. Campenarts over the line, that's first time. In the exact same second as Jos van Emden, but that's going to be a virtual first position for Victor Campenarts. A solid second half of the of the race for him. Mike Walsher, he's far behind, there's no one interesting right now. Um, we've got Carl Frederik Hagen. Obviously for us, we're going to go in times 2 because it's boring. Um, Hagen is not a time trialist uh, and this first time is going to show it. 39 seconds behind, he's even worse than Jens Kukulair. Uh I'm not expecting too much Marzinski to be any good as well. Right, so as long as nothing changes here... Wait, Matt Pedersen, has he finished? Matt Pedersen, yeah, he's 6. So as long as nothing changes, changes sorry, in the top 5 here, we're good. Uh, Hagen over the line, 115, so he's currently last in our team. Marzinski, 13, and he was the, in the exact same second. Bigsby just launched in my phone, okay, that's weird. Um, Marzinski just um, in the exact same second as Carl Frederick Hagen over the first intermediate time. It's going to be a much better second half of the time trial, I think, though. 102, he's still worse than Jens Kukula. Okay. The next rider to leave the stands for us is going to be Torch van der Zander. Uh, let's see if there's anyone dangerous that's going to take uh, our time. Like, where's Rohan Dennis? Let's, let's follow um, Yanni Moscon for a second. First intermediate time, he's 
not there, 21st, so that's not interesting. Oliveira, first time, ooh, wow, okay, I did not expect that, Van der Sand is on its way, uh, but he's not going to be my priority, my priority right now is Nelson Oliveira, he's 4 seconds ahead of Jos van Emden, 10 seconds ahead of me, is he going to slow down in the second half, he was very close to win yesterday, Nelson Oliveira, over the line, in San Benedetto del Tondo, is it going to be first position for the Portuguese, it is, it is, 6 seconds quicker than Victor Campenarts. We've just lost all hopes of winning, yeah, so that's not ideal. Um, Fabio Fellini is about to go. Alright, we've got Thibaut soon leaving the stands. He's not going to be good today as well. Van der Sand over the line, that's 117 behind, so that's shit. Um, I'm pretty sure I saw Rohan Dennis was a favourite. Has Rohan Dennis, like, is Rohan Dennis in the top 15? I'd be very surprised if he was. Especially considering... Oh, he's here. Okay, Ron Dennis on the starting line. Let's let's follow him. Let's follow the uh, the world champion. He's in the exact same second as Nelson Oliveira over the first time. Is he going to be able to come back in the second half of the time trial? Timo Lenz is about to leave as well. Uh, there we go, Timo Lenz. You're going to have... Uh, 78, I, I suppose. That seems good enough. Uh, wait, where's... Where's Rohan Dennis? There we go. Rohan Dennis over the line. And it's gonna be first place, first time for the world champion, the, o the OZ, 14 Bahrain Merida, who takes first position. Okay, well, we're now... I think we've lost all hopes of a podium because uh, there's still some Dumoulin to come and uh, and um, Primo Roglic. There we go. Timolen 16 seconds behind. It's not bad. West Pete Sagan 23. Ooh, game's on. Game's on. Okay, Gary Thomas six uh, of the the intermediates nine seconds behind. So he's lost all hopes of winning this stage as well. Let's spectate Tom Dumoulin. Is he going to be ahead by nine sec by eight seconds at uh, the end of the sound trial over Primoz Roglic? He's third, three seconds behind Nelson Oliveira. Primoz Roglic over the intermediate time as Timo Lentz is about to cross the line. So we need to be wary about that as well. Wait, Timo Lentz over the line. That's 19th, 7th. What a time trial. Roglic, 10 seconds. Roglic is 10 seconds. He's only got one second ahead, Tom Dumoulin. Peter Sagan over the line, it's it's not good at all. Wait, there we go. Uh, so I've overtaken Peter Sagan. Okay, I don't think I've overtaken Gary Thomas, let's not be mad. No, he's third, seven seconds behind. <laughs> Julien Lafilippe. Now the question is, did Primoz Roglic start slowly or is Tom Dumoulin just too good? And he's gonna get the win in Tirreno Adriatico. Alaphilippe, 50. Wait, 52 seconds. So I've got 33 on him. 30, that's that's not going to be enough. Sorry. I don't know why I said sorry. Dumoulin, first time. Dumoulin, first time. I think that's it, Froglitch. He's got a kilometer left. I don't think he's going to be able to do it. He needs to finish in less than 8 seconds behind Tom Dumoulin. Roglic, 12 seconds. Tom Dumoulin wins both the stage and Tirreno Adriatico. Campenot 6 and Timolens 10th for us today. But for 5 seconds, it's the Sunweb Rider who gets the W. Primo Roglic, Gary Thomas, Julian Lafilippe, and Timolens in 5th position uh, came through uh, with a solid time trial at the end to redeem himself from uh, his absolutely shit performance uh, 2 days ago. The uh, Mountain Gia as he is going to stay on Tomasz Marzinski's shoulders. Very good tour from him. Do he did a solid work and uh, he deserves it. Went in the breakaway nearly every day. Points wise, it's Pete Sagan who gets the jersey. One point out of Tim Wallens. Disappointing, but I mean, I'll take it. Uh, best young rider is Tish Benut. Best team is Baran Merida who jumped Dimension Data on the last day. They can thank Juan Dennis. Wait, Dimension Data is here. Who else is here for Baran Merida? I mean, okay, Seba, but there's no one mainly for. 
for dimension data, so that's why. That's the top 10 of today's time trial. A disappointing performance for someone like Tony Martin, only finishing in 15th, Castroviero 13th. Uh, but mainly the main disappointment, I think, today is Primoz Roglic, only 7th and 13 seconds behind Tom Dumoulin, the former time trial champion, um, world champion, should I say, um, who, well, wins Tirano Adriatico. Five seconds ahead of uh, Primo Roglic. Gaps are very close um, between the, the two of them. Fulsang Song finishing in the same time as Davide Formolo. Um, but yeah, Wellens finishes in fifth. At least we got top five. We got two jerseys. It's not bad, but I would have hoped for better. Uh, I should have hoped for better and I should have done better. Uh, but yeah, that's it for the Tirano Adriatico. If you enjoyed it, please let me know in the comments down below and leave a like on the video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new around here for uh, PCM content. Follow me on my social medias, the links are in the description down below. Uh, first link of the description, as always, is the WorldDB, the database I'm using to do uh, my videos. Just a reminder that this Tirano Adriatico variant is not in it yet. Uh, I think it will. So, yeah, if you want to play with this database, please go ahead and do so. And, uh, yeah, I've been Blackwell. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys, and goodbye.